Hi, this is Pedro from the Flashback team. Today, we will show you a chain of vulnerabilities I found back in 2018. These three vulnerabilities allow an unauthenticated attacker to get a root shell on a Cisco Identity Services Engine device. You can see on the screen we're logging on to it. It is running version 2.4.0.356, which was the latest at the time I published this vulnerability chain. So let's get started by exploiting a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability first. On the left-hand side, we have the web interface to the device. On the right-hand side, we have the attacker's machine. We'll start by running the exploit without any arguments, which will download and compile the necessary Java dependencies. Once that is done, we provide the device IP address 10.9.8.156 the device web interface port 443 and our attacker IP to receive our reverse shell. The exploit starts by abusing a vulnerability to plant a stored cross-site scripting payload onto the device. If a logged-in administrator visits the device page, this will trigger our payload, which will initiate the second stage of the exploit, which abuses a Java deserialization vulnerability. Earlier, I sent myself a phishing email that looks like it comes from the device. As you can see, it kind of looks legitimate, but I'm sure we could improve it if we wanted. We check the link in the email and it appears to point to our device. So what could go wrong? Let's click on it and find out. Once we click on it, the stored cross-site scripting payload fires a request to a device endpoint that performs Java deserialization. The payload will execute code on the device as the web server user and give us back a shell. Finally, the third stage of the exploit executes, which abuses an incorrect file permission to escalate our privileges to root. We win. If you're interested in the details of this chain and how each bug works, please check the advisory link in the description. We hope this video is useful if you ever encounter anyone saying that cross-site scripting is a lame and low-risk vulnerability. Thank you very much for watching.